Hi there, once again at Google Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about BigQuery. So I'm going to go to a BigQuery stuff. Perfect. Let's go to BigQuery public data. Let's select badges. There are a couple of things. <clears throat> we'll select Stack Overflow. Badges. I want to query the stable. It's pretty simple. Select. I have something prepared previously. You're going to put an asterisk and run it. There's no result, access denied. I'm not on that project. I'll have to select a project. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Let's leave it. Once again, let's go there. These are the results. Gonna run a little bit different query that minimize all this. There's extract, count, etc. A little bit more complex with the order and group by with the fetch, like limited row bounds. Perfect. Now we're going to create a new data set. <clears throat> so here, or I can just go to the product, create a data set. Let's the <clears throat> sorry. As you guys all know this name, let's put this name. USA. <coughs> Where else can we put? The default table expression at Neva. Okay, create. Great. What was the problem? Okay, cannot put anything there.
Stock up rear flow. <clears throat> so let's go to query editor. Let's try to run this. I'm accessing another data set. So it's, it is a kind of a partitioning cluster in Bigtable, BigQuery, sorry. Bigtable is another thing. Good. So it has created me. <clears throat> This question's 2018. Good. Let's compose a new query. There are a couple of editors here. Let's gonna run this query. Okay. Good. There is a cache preferencing. In this case, we created a table of this data set when in another data set, selecting the other table inside the data set. That's pretty simple, it has explained and show it. Let's go to query settings. More query settings. <clears throat> Sorry. What we do now. Okay. Advanced options. There is a job pr priority. It's live interactive, cache preference. Let's uncheck this. Let's save. Let's run. Somewhere it has a no cache results. Perfect. Let's compose a new query. I'll start killing these others. Can. So let's compose a new query. And I will just run this command. Okay. Run. <clears throat> Questions partitioning. Check the all the command I did, okay? Now we're going to compose a new query. And run. Check where I'm checking, over partition it. <clears throat> right, fine, check the result. 
the query complete very fast there's no cache results okay no cache results so that's pretty simple what I would like to share about the, how to compose in queries and the amount of data sources etc I'm going to close this let's compose one the, the lab is completely done now I'm gonna run another query run <coughs> sorry you see there's a partition table like a cluster partition table and now you see it from this create a stack overflow data set inside the other lab I'm closing all the things here let me run another query since I'm creating creating tables inside that data set and as a partition partition way so let's run this one other one which is going to the cluster which was based everything started from the big queries take a workflow that we create create questions 2018 then we create the partition and after the cluster and you can see the <clears throat> sorry you can see the results <clears throat> results okay fine okay thanks for watching this is was a simple way there was doing double introduction to partition and clustering BigQuery. BigQuery, just a, as a previous information, like you know, that's a fully managed petabyte scale, low cost enterprise data warehouse for analytic stuff. BigQuery is serverless, so you don't have to set up any clusters as I just have shown. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.